You had scratches all over your back, like from hands. I had the best weekend you can possibly have. <laughs> I need to call someone, but I don't know who. I would call Ken. If I tried to call you, you would not answer. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I was I was scared to talk to the CEO of Bugatti because I was like, I'm just so stupid. I don't want to waste his time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the Life Wide Open Podcast, and it is my true honor, my honor to tell you that today's podcast is sponsored by SeatGeek. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports festivals, and more. Summer is in full swing, so it's time to take advantage of it and go see that game or concert you've been wanting to see and use SeatGeek when you're buying the tickets. You know we came through for you guys. Use our code wide open for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code wide open. Make sure you click at the link in the description and download that. I feel like you're going to your baby. It. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and it's a pretty sweet car. Now I, I watched that on the wow. uh, thing. I was like, oh, wow. That's actually like, it looked like, you know, no, you kind of, when sweet. you see it rolling wow. on there, you're like, damn, that's a fucking built car. You know, no, it's yeah. cool. I love looking at it even when it's in the garage. Sometimes it takes someone else driving your car, your bike, your whatever to be like, oh, I do love that. That is cool. I yeah. forgot I made it that cool. Yeah. Kind of feel that way too when some other guy starts test driving your chick, you know? Start wondering. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, man. I really shouldn't have given that up. You got the jaw drop from Ken on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had that problem, but. Okay. Good. Well, geez, Ken was alone. Yeah. Was, after, that is a good thing to have. You said it like you, you have had that problem. Right? Well, eventually one. I mean, at some point I did in my life. Yeah. Um, Who hasn't, though? Ben. Ben hasn't. Uh, Yeah. No, I have. Oh. Never mind. I, I have. That's how me and my ex girlfriend broke up. Oh, someone else was test driving her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he didn't even. He wasn't even selling the car. They were just getting test drives. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh dude. no. Yeah. Oh fuck. Damn. That that's... might be too much to yeah. put this early. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back to the podcast. It's great to be back. What? I mean, I'm just kind of curious. What number are we on? Uh, 80, so 80. It shit. is. That's kind of what I thought. 80. I was just looking back through my notes as I was, you know, refreshing myself on the subjects I'd written down. It was kind of fun scrolling back and seeing all the notes that we've had for other podcasts. And I go, man, I can't believe that was 30 podcasts ago. Dang. So you kind of keep them. I, yeah. I delete them as I go. Otherwise it'll get jumbled up in my brain. I, I try to do that. I have a long list of notes though that I need to probably go through and clean up. But like, I mean, that happens to me. I, I chuck stuff in the notes, like kind of more content ideas base and i dumb it down so much that i go back to it later sometimes and i'm like what was i yeah what was my idea yeah, dude i remember <laughs> i go by my notes every day i'm like you what do, do i need yeah, to do like sure. i have like things to get done uh like i got this week's video like every segment that we've completed the segments we need to complete video ideas money that's owed to me <laughs> stuff like that All you kind, yeah your notes are very similar to mine. Have you ever thought about getting a notebook? Like just a good old fashioned little little book that you write down no. in? No. Really? I kind I thought it'd be kind of like fun and nostalgic to do, you know? I well, you should start I doing mean, it. I have one. I have like to-do lists that are tangible and then to-do lists on my phone. The ones that are tangible are fun, but you got to like take them with you sometimes. That's yeah, true. It's kind of like a planner? piece of paper. Are you saying a planner? Yeah, Not really a planner cuz a planner seems too OCD to me. Like I'm just talking like a book. Just, with all your stuff in it, all your notes in it. You know, he's got pages of basically what CJ's got in his notes, but, you know, just different pages. Seems of it. unpractical. You just have it right here. Dude, my dad never really carries a notebook and doesn't have, he doesn't use his phone like that. So he'll write on two by fours. He works in construction. So like in the back of his pickup, he'll have like full house plans, <laughs> like written on the back of a little chunk of two by four. Wood. Really? Yeah. Randy also doesn't put anyone's names in the, his phone. No, he knows everybody's number. If he was here right now, I'd be like, hey, who's, uh, you know, the guy that works, details your car? He'd be like, oh, yeah, no, this, boom. Dude, that is- Hasn't that, called him in months. Wow. That's like such a strange talent. He said he, it started when you didn't have like caller ID in your phone and he had to know the electrician's number because he was calling him 10 times a day. And he's like, yeah, I just built up a memory of phone numbers. That's wild. But he, he knows, I guarantee he knows every single one of your phone numbers off the top of his head. That's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't even know- Anyone other than my mom's phone number? I, I, I know my mom's, Sorry, mom. and I know Micah's. Micah's is super easy, though. Yeah. I know Ken's. 
If like if I was ever in a situation where it was where like, you needed to leak it on a billboard, <laughs> you could do it. <laughs> like where I was like I need to call someone, but I don't know who. I would call Ken. Speaking of Ken, and if I tried to call you, you would not answer. Actually, you know what? After you said that one time, I felt really bad, so I put you on my emergency list, so it rings no matter what. I figure if Ken's calling nice. me, I should answer no emergency. matter what. That's nice of you. Yeah. So I, times have changed. Times have changed because he used to not. Mm-hmm. Kendricks. How was your weekend, big guy? Oh, yeah. Tell us about this. So, Big Ken went to Vegas this weekend just to catch everyone up. And By himself. I had the best weekend you could possibly have. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. And keep in mind, we waited. Keep in mind, we made him wait to tell us about how his experience was until now. I'm not sure if I still want to know. Well, what's, he's what's gonna give us. He's gonna give us an abbreviated, you watered know, down, watered down, cleaned up version, <laughs> the safe for public consumption version, mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. safe for even our ears. We won't even know the truth. Well, let's hear it, Ken. What 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 all went down there? So I went to Ford is this thing. You buy a Bronco. You can uh, go to these different little sites across the country, and you can like take their Broncos off road. Okay. So I did the one in, in Vegas. You could uh, rock Actually. all around the desert, an old Boy Scout camp. and Oh. <laughs> did that for an afternoon. And then uh, went back to the hotel, did a little gambling. Came up ahead, won a jackpot on a uh, slot machine. And no shit. How much? Two grand. Two grand? That, that was my first hand pay I've ever gotten from a slot machine. Wow. So you left at that point, or did you keep gambling and blow it all away? Oh, no, no. I, I, I got that hand pay. The dude gave me some cash, and he said, hey, you still got a little bit of money on the machine. He unlocked it again, and then I took that cash, cashed it out, left. Smart man. That was smart. I was like, I, I'm can. up. I won. I got to get out of here. Have you smart taken notes man. over there? You got to win first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do have to win yeah, first. You got to win first. I was, uh, I don't know, I'm extremely satisfied that you said that. I was not expecting you to be like, yeah, I pulled out. So then what? You went and spent it all at the strip club? Not all of it. <laughs> really? Did you go, Ken? No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> you had a little safer shit for consumption? Like, no. Yeah, this is a safer consumption. His mother's know. consumption video. Ken's got no reason not to. It, it was a great weekend in Vegas. I'll put it at that. That's Man, good. In and out in under 36 hours. No kidding. You were driving back just in time by the time everybody else was waking yeah, up on still, Saturday morning. Still got a, uh, a nice lake day on Saturday. Damn. So you, you, you hit and run on them. Oh, that, that is honestly the best way to do Vegas, I think. Get in at like 10 o'clock. Just one. Hit it hard for 36 hours. Fly out at 10. Or not 10. 9 a.m. in the next morning. Or wow. Saturday morning. I think we should do that. It's yeah. The, it's the best. I'm down. I'm glad you had a good... I, I opted out of it when Ken was like, my trip's going to be boom, boom, boom. I'm like, well, that... I don't even like gambling that much, and I don't know if that's enough time. You've been waving around in the hallways. Peeing waving, on stuff. Yeah, peeing, <laughs> pooping. You never know. Yeah, I think Ram has one of those camp things. It's called Ram Ranch. (laughs) (laughs) You going to that next, I'm not sure if I'm going to go, though. I don't think I'm going to go to that. Yeah, Ryan got invited to that by some random guy on Instagram. Well, I I was like, Ryan, I think, gets a legit invite, but Ken got invited by a random guy. (laughs) (laughs) Plus one. But yeah, Ken, you said you had a lake day Saturday, and then I was out on the lake with you on Sunday. You had scratches all over your back, like, from hand, so I don't know what, I, what. I don't know. I don't know where that came from, but that's the part that you can't tell about. Or? I I don't know. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Was there I, actually? Yeah, and then he that used to gave the same answer then too. I Man. I don't know. I I don't know where those came from. Well, they're gone now. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're gone now. <laughs> Ken, you are a legend. I love your mystery. <laughs> Do we want to talk a little bit about our weekend? So we covered. So you Ken guys went to to Disney when I went to Vegas. How was that? We're good kids. That's about why, it. Ken. Yeah, some people go to Vegas and get all <laughs> drunk. Cleaning up our acts, Ken. Some Make, of us making money. I, I would say it was definitely one of the most interesting weekends of my life. It was a great time. It was a great time. But like looking at it, reflecting back on it, and just taking the entire situation as a whole. It is so hard to explain to people. It was so strange. (laughs) What we were doing and who we were with. It was only strange because it was like, you look at the group. It was So we had the CEO of Bugatti with us. The CEO of Bugatti. Yeah, he flew all the way from Croatia. He's worth supposedly $2 billion. 
He, he, was he hangs out with Elon Musk. He's dubbed the Croatian Elon Musk. Yeah, he's like the next Elon Musk. He, he spoke in Dubai in front of 15,000 people the night before he came to Disney with us. Yes, and he, he shows up and he's hanging out with our stupid asses. <laughs> and I think to add, I got to add something that you told me that this is his second vacation since his honeymoon. First, like, first vacation. Yeah, like this guy doesn't take that, vacations. to me... No. It, before you get into it, hangs just, around a lot of intelligent people, yeah. and now he's at Disney World with us, just waltzing around, <laughs> going on rides. So not only us, but let me let me paint the scene of the entire group here. So it's us, me, CJ, and Ryan, our dumbasses. Yep. And then Steve Hamilton, who who is the guy who invited us. We've done a podcast with Steve. He's the owner of, of Custom Offsets and Fitment, who we've been working with for a long time. Anyway, Steve is such a G, but the dude's basically just a grown-up kid. Yeah, he's he's sure. just a grown-up kid. kid. And, and He's uh, cool. He's oh, he's, he's the coolest, dude. He's the coolest. So uh, we got us, Steve, who's a grown-up kid. He's saying that's what she said. He's making <laughs> sex noises and, and like... Uh, <laughs> Uh, just like basically being like a 14 year old with us, you know, we're just walking around and then we got his kids who are just spitting images of Steve. They're, 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 actual, they're actually 14, 11, yeah, yeah, 12, yeah, year, olds, yeah, 10, 12 year old kids. And then we got uh, Frankie LaPena, who is one of the biggest TikTok stars. And he also and has he the is biggest known, He is known for his dumper. <laughs> He's got just the fattest ass. Huge ass. Big Huge ass. Guy so TikTok. I got to ask, is it real? Again, you got to see it in person, bro. You got it. Dude, gotta, I'm not kidding you. We got back from dinner on the first night. He was like, I got to find the gym. I got to get. And like he was, it was 1030. We had to get up the next morning. He's like off to go find this gym at our hotel because he had to go hit the squats. Damn, good for him. Yeah. Yes. So Frankie's got like billions of views, billions of views on TikTok. Like he's a massive, massive TikToker. But even the fact that if, if you didn't know that he wasn't a TikToker, you would see this guy. And just stopping your tracks and your jaw would drop. And that's exactly what happened to every single person mm-hmm. we walked past at Disney. So either they he was knew the him. the most famous guy I've ever been around. They either yeah. knew him from TikTok or they were just in shock of what they were looking at. Because his ass and his hips are so big. Jim Kardashian, dude. That's yeah. what they called him. So we would walk like five feet behind oh Frankie gosh. everywhere. And Frankie's getting stopped for pictures left and right. And then the people that weren't stopping him for pictures were just like in awe of what they were looking at. And then one guy would goes, "Holy shit! You see Jim Kardashian back there?" <laughs> but it was it was it was pretty funny, like walking behind him because then you could see all the reactions on people's faces in just shock. So we got us, Steve, his kids, Frankie Lapena, the CEO of Bugatti, and then a couple of other Steve's friends who were like kids, just like all of us. It was. The strangest collective of, of people, and we're just mobbing around Disney for but, two straight days. But everyone had fun. It was just, oh I, at first I was I was scared to talk to uh, Mate, the CEO of Bugatti, because I was like, I'm just so stupid. I don't want to waste his time. I'm not <laughs> going to open my mouth. I'm not going to waste his time at all. I'm just going to smile, give him a nod. Let him do his thing, you know. Spoke when spoken to. Exactly. Yeah. But, I mean, we started warming up towards, like, the second day. We were chatting. Like, everyone was having a blast. Like, I mean, it, was. it just it was a great time. It we was... rode every single ride at Disney World because Steve has this fast pass because he's a part of uh, Club 33. So, we would just go ride a ride. Wouldn't even wait in line for more than five minutes. Go to the next ride. Like, we rode every single big ride at Disney World. We hit Disney, in two days. We hit Disney World in two days, and normally it takes like five to hit all the rides. And Steve has gone there like a thousand times. Literally he knows a, everything. A, literally a thousand times. And um, knows every single fact about Disney, knows every single ride, every secret tunnel, and, and, and like knew his way around Disney like no one else there. It's Anyone, awesome, though, when you do it with him. When you do it with him, you're just rolling around. like It's like you got the park to yourself almost. And I don't think they really do fast passes anymore. So they like don't. the fact that you guys were like, there's two and a half hours for the wait or there's five minutes and you guys got to. Yeah. Yeah. Steve is like part, I of, mean, part of the group and there's only like 3,000 people in the world that have access crazy. to it. I was jealous. I've been there once and I was jealous, but it looked like a really good time and I was checking the snaps and stuff, looking at the crew and I was like, 
kind of from the outside. I was like, what is this? What crew? is going on there? That's the I'm thing. seeing who, who we you felt were that with. Way. Yeah. We felt that way. Yeah. That is pretty funny then. Yeah, and we're just rolling around together for two straight days, and the only thing on the agenda was just to have a good time. Like, no one was filming. No one was, like, trying to make anything of it besides for just, like, Steve hosting us at Disney World yeah. and everyone. Telling you fun. everything he can possibly tell you. Yeah. It was such a lifestyle switch up because we typically hang around kids our age, which just puts us in different situations. I mean, like, the last night, we played what was it sharks and minnows or something like that we played in the pool like just played in this war <laughs> for like two hours it was blast. it was a blast man it was it was a good like wholesome life reset definitely yeah i want to yeah, be like steve when i grow up honestly. Me too, dude. like i want like he's got all this money super successful can do whatever he wants but he is so chill he's not walking around with like fla- flashy expensive clothes on whatever else he's just rolling around just like cracking jokes. He's not worried about what other people think about him. He's yeah. just like treating everyone kindly. It doesn't matter if you're the CEO of Bugatti or our dumbasses. <laughs> He's nice to you or whoever else on the street. It was just like, it was nice. I think that is one thing I really took away from it. Cause even the, the CEO of Bugatti, who's it's got tons and tons of money. He even was like, so like, if you would have seen him or even met him and talked to him, you wouldn't have noticed or you wouldn't have thought this guy is, a billionaire. Ooh, he was he wearing is. a Batman shirt. He was chilling. <laughs> yeah. He was chilling. He, well, he was talk, also thirty three years with old. Everyone, like, 35. thirty five. He would talk with everyone, and he was just it yeah. was it was just cool to see. Um, basically, the people at the top, just you wouldn't even have noticed that yeah, they how were, they were, you know who they are because they act so normal and uh, yeah, no chip on their and, shoulder and nice to everyone. And yeah. it's got to be one of the they're not stuck up most positive aspects that you could possibly be as a human. You know, yeah, like super successful. It's very super admirable. Smart very and, admirable. Yeah, man. If if I took anything away from it, it's like these guys at the top are no different than anyone else that we like hang out in, and they're just smarter and work yeah. a lot harder. <laughs> yeah. yeah, smarter and work yeah, a lot harder. Yeah, but like at the end of the day, everyone laughs at like I guess the people that we hang out with and mesh with. We all laugh at the same jokes. You're all kind of degenerates, and yeah, uh, yeah I mean. It was it was pretty wild that we were able to like sit at lunch or dinner for two straight days with that group and like have the conversations that we did. Howdy everybody. Quick break in the podcast reward from today's sponsor, Shopify. That right there is the sound of another sale on Shopify, the platform trusted by millions of entrepreneurs to create their online store and so much more. Shopify makes it simple to sell to anyone from anywhere. Shopify removes the marketing guesswork with built-in tools that help you create, execute, and analyze your marketing campaigns. We recently started using the Shopify email marketing tools. Maybe some of you have been getting them. A lot of companies have annoying emails but we try our best not to we only feed good information and shopify makes it really easy to make them the best part is they look good on both mobile and desktop if you have to make email blasts you know how difficult that can be with shopify you can easily customize your online store to your brand discover new customers and build relationships so it'll keep them coming back and thanks to 24 7 support and free on-demand business courses shopify is here to help you succeed every single step of the way it's how every minute new sellers around the world make their first sale with shopify and you can too sign up for a free trial today at shopify Shopify.com slash wide open. Go to Shopify.com slash wide open to start selling online today. That's Shopify.com slash wide open. Thanks, Shopify. Have you guys been searching for the best deal on tickets to an event? Summer's in full swing. It's time to take advantage of it and go see that game or concert you've been wanting to see. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including sports, concerts, festivals, and more. And SeatGeek puts all the tickets from across the web in one place to make sure you are getting a good deal. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love an outside concert. Under the stars, outside, you got a cold beverage, maybe. Whether it's a big headliner, just some random guy in the park, use SeatGeek to get your tickets. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10, so look for the green dots. Green means good, red means bad, and each ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. And SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. You know we came through for you guys. Use our code wide open for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code wide open. Make sure you click the link in the description to download that. I, I don't- he was asking about YouTube. Well, yeah. obviously Steve knows tons, but Mate was asking about YouTube and yeah, I, I mean, he was, I think anyone in that position that's that successful is probably a curious soul and, and like he, 
one treated everyone the same, but two was like very interested in, and what other people did and, and like our lifestyle. And I thought the craziest thing was like when he was saying that, um, so he found out that we were YouTubers and, and we like showed him our channel and he subscribed. And <laughs> yeah, he subscribed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And he was like, Oh my God, look at all these views. And, um, that's me trying to do his accent. <laughs> and he's like, uh, whenever we come out with a car, uh, I always try and push YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Like that's the biggest and the best, uh, form of media right now and, and marketing. And it was just wild to hear like somebody that successful, like kind of praise what you're that doing. profession. Oh, he he yeah. knew. Yeah. He understood it for sure. Yeah. Yeah, bro. It was, it's like, it's hard to explain cause you, you had to be there to like <laughs> experience it. It's just such a strange situation at hand it wasn't uncomfortably strange it was just no. like you couldn't believe what you were doing yeah pop up this picture that i had ryan take it's me and him sitting in like a teacup playing a toy story game <laughs> wearing 3d glasses yeah i drank beer with him in a fake german city <laughs> Yep. <laughs> like I, it's really odd but yeah i would say like overall you guys were in such a fun cool environment yeah, I'm Disney I'm in, World with that crew, like it's so random. Yeah, I'm incredibly gr like grateful for that yeah. opportunity, just because I don't know like when else you would ever get that chance, and it was just cool to be in the presence of people like that. And I was trying to just take as much as I could in, you know. Yeah, without I, I like, also bothering them, I was not trying to like yeah. hassle them. Right, I, I was yeah, you know, ask him questions like, so what do you think about Lamborghinis? <laughs> Stuff like that. He said, eh, they all right. Because <laughs> <laughs> the guy drives a Bugatti every day. Yeah. 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 So, and also another question, just, just to flatter me, did you guys get recognized at all? Like no, three did. times. Yeah. Right? I think times. maybe three times. Yeah. Oh, it was <laughs> compared like to his least, 300. We go to Disney World where it's like the most people ever. And we were hardly getting stopped. And I was like, God damn, if any, if now's like, now's the time. Someone say what's up to me. <laughs> like, so I can look cool in front of these yeah. guys, you know? Not a, like like hardly any. I, I mean, there was people and they That's were nice, funny. but yeah, it was no, very and that, strange. And that does go a Probably long not way. Not a demographic at Disney World. That goes a really long way when you're in front of. Not that I'm always like hoping for this, but if you're in front of so and so, and like, then three people come and stop you within an hour, it's like or whatever. Now's the time to do it. Make <laughs> yeah, yeah, me look yeah. cool. <laughs> Gas me up. Yeah. Gas us up. You know, a couple a couple people did stop us, and uh, Matei goes, oh. You guys do have some fans. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we got a couple. <laughs> he's, there's, there's, he's very humor, humorously I, I blunt, it sounds off. like. Yeah, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, to sum it up, though, my kid, my future kids aren't going to Disney without Uncle Steve. That's what I was saying, dude. They ruined I was it like, for me. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, um, especially after that experience. Yeah. So... Shout out, Steve. I'll be there with my future little Jimmy. I'll be like, last time I was here, I was with the CEO Bugatti. What'd you do today? Play with Legos? <laughs> Jimmy Iwerks. That's Jimmy. an awful name. It's oh. going to be a cool kid. <laughs> <laughs> you can just tell by his name. So gun to your head right now. You have to name your firstborn in the next 10 seconds. What is it? Oh, shit. Uh... Ryan the second. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably do something cool like Yeah. Like, let's hear it. <laughs> I don't want to say Axel, but like something cool. I was actually thinking I always used to think Braxton was kind of a cool like name. name. Like, like Brax. You know, but it's also kinda of hard to say. And yeah, then like Alex's that. sister, my girlfriend's sister, ends up having a child and naming him Braxton. So I was like, Well that name's out the That's window. That's out now. the window. I mean, How about so, you, yeah. Ben? I mean, I got a couple, but I, I don't want to air them out. What are the secrets oh I'm going to steal? Gosh. I mean, yeah, maybe. Okay, okay. I, I guess I get that because Can you for their answers, it wasn't very serious. Yeah, obviously it was. I like, don't know. I think Axel is a pretty sick I like name. The name. It kind of sucked for him, though, because if he ends up being like a really smart guy and goes on to be a doctor, Dr. Axel. That's yeah, still a pretty cool, cool name. Sounds like a Dr. cool Roger. guy. I think your kid's going to grow up and be a doctor, <laughs> CJ. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we'll be lucky if he graduates high school. You're right. You're right. I'd say stick with that. Axel Lotzer has a good, you know. Axel. It does. It, it's very pretty badass. Pretty badass. Meshes together. There's a lot of people coming out. I mean, not coming out, but. Yo, names, new names <laughs> just dropped. Dude, people are getting funky with these yeah. ch children's names nowadays. They are. Yeah. I, it, they do you are. know anyone naming like, their kids like Ryan anymore? You're Ben? Like, that shit's boring. You're not naming them that. 
Like, thank God I kind of got a cool name. Like, you know, CJ is still hip with it. But uh, with it. Mike's pr- Micah is a cool name. It is. Pretty, it's pretty funny that bro. Micah is a super unique name, and then Mike is like. I ben guess or was Micah a, a biblical name? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, that makes sense. I was gonna say because uh, not that there's anything wrong with your parents, but your parents are very traditional. You know what I'm saying? Like so, like. Well, you, yeah, I think they were like, like you, we want to name him something in the Bible, right? And, and then only that's had like, so many. Well, probably the coolest like name John. in the Bible. Yeah, it could have been John, but I'm or saying Matthew. Like, Matthew, yeah, Micah's a sick name. I like it. Micah Salmon. I enjoy it. a really cool name. I mean, I, mean, I could be named Hugh, Evan. Hugo, and my last name would still kind of carry. Hugo Sandman. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That is pretty sick. Yeah. Hugo yeah. Sandman's a sick name. <laughs> <kid. laughs> yeah, that Mike, is you, the sickest uh, name I've ever heard. Is that what you're going to name your kid? That's what I'm picking. Hugo, bro. Maybe I'd name my kid CJ or something to abbreviate for CJ just so he can be CJ the second. Don't do that to him. I feel like let let the kid be his own. Heard that already. I, I actually... When people do that, and it's like uh, Lil John, you, know, <laughs> you got Big John and Lil John, and he ends up being a rapper. I just had a yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he ends up being a rapper. God damn it! No, you guys know what I'm saying, though. Yeah, the and, whole junior, yeah. the third, whatever, this and that. Yeah, yeah I, 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 in, in a lot of scenarios, you know, it is like honorable. Yeah, but. I don't know. It's almost like then you're kind of just like keeping them, I guess, under your like yeah. or in your yeah. shadow. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to offend anyone by saying this, but I think it's something that anyone with a non passed down name hears someone that's like, wow, that my full name is. Yeah, it's John the third because my, you know, grandpa, but John is a horrible example, but very good one. Like. <laughs> Like, cause it's the most. John is the most common name in the United States. Is and that, the funny is thing it? is, is that is, fact? Look that up. Yeah, Tim. yeah. What's the okay? So <laughs> I was going to go out of style. And like, also, about that. the funniest thing too is Johnson is the most common last Johnson. name. Johnson. John Johnson. Do you guys think that a lot of people are getting away from the biblical names? Well, they say that. Uh, I don't than, think they were ever. Fifty percent of the people don't believe in God now in the I United heard States. That. Yeah, I heard that too. So, is that true? I don't know. We better look that up, too. I don't know where we're getting these statistics, but it is <laughs> funny that all of us heard that. Um, it is weird to think, though, how names, like, get, become outdated. Like, you think of, like, Gladys. Like, Oof. nobody's naming their, their, Gladys, their, that's their tough. child Gladys. I feel like we could just list a bunch of names that are too old. Or to even Richard, used. like Richard. Who looks at a baby and names him Richard? Not that there's anything wrong with the name Richard, but, like, it's just out of date. our friends Richard. Nowadays, it's, like... Yeah, serial I mean, number xy2 jz no it ain't that's dude they, the funniest thing about elon is that he changed they changed the name to like something without numbers in it mm. yeah yeah i'm pretty sure they like they no ch- i don't think so i thought they did i read no, something that no, they it's did. just pronounced uh, it's just pronounced a different way oh what what's the i, I thought you it was just a spell troll. it like totally wrong you're like oh yeah his name's eric <laughs> <sighs> then you you look at like axel that's a sick name, but it's like now you got to follow that up with the second child. So what do you name him? Fucking drive shaft. <laughs> like, it's like you might be onto enjoy something, it. bro. Steering wheel. <laughs> like, it's just like I love start that. Start naming dude. car parts. Yo, ball joint. Why ain't the dishes <laughs> done yet? I know some people that do that with their dogs. They're oh. they're all named after car parts. I like that. Really? I mean, that's you can name Honda. In, like, what what's, what, what's your take on that? Like, I think that you can name a pet anything. Well, Hence, yeah, for obviously, sure. you know, CJ kind of came up with the name Lunchbox. That was fitting, though. It's yeah. Like, so but maybe I, you got to wait to name your child, let them, like, grow into their character, and if they're, like, digging through the scraps, you're like, Lunchbox. Yeah. You know? Well, that could, yeah. You wait, but I, you well, wait yeah. to see the first <laughs> the thing <laughs> that they do. Yeah. You name it, like, Barf. I, I think it's even weirder, though, when people give it's dogs, bark. when they give dogs human names. A, mean? a female dog you name Kate. Yeah, that is yeah. Weird, yeah. It, like that. I think, I think that's kind of weird. And the only exception, like, we ain't putting it past me. If I had a dog, I might name it Steve. Okay, well that'd be yeah, a great, be, that'd yeah, be a yeah, great name for a dog. But Poor no, dogs I agree. Is an inside joke forever. <laughs> when I was growing up, our dog's name was Chloe. Oh, yeah, Chloe the Sharpe, Chinese Sharpe. Yeah, I guess that's kind of human. That's a human name. Mm-hmm. Like, imagine having a dog and naming it Ryan. <laughs> That'd just be weird. 
<laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I hate to keep it. You'd just be setting him up at a disadvantage right from the start. It's such a stupid name. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. It's just a very human name. Yeah, I'm name. sure we could think of a list <laughs> a list of names like that. But yeah, very human. Naming a dog Ryan would be super weird. What's your guys' take on you have a dog and it dies, and then you get another dog oh, and name it the that's same weird. name. That's, that's weird. weird. I, who do we know that does that? We I have probably friends. can't spill the beef. They're yeah. listening right now. That's They do the same, <laughs> they say yeah, too many same names. names. It, He's a good kid. Each time. Yeah, I, I think I think um, maybe the first couple is kind of weird, but then after like eight, it's like, no, that's just their You thing. might have a that's problem. That's their thing. Yeah, oh. you're right. Maybe. You know, so it might, it's like a, it's like a bell curve. Where it's like a little weird and then it gets to the top. <laughs> and, now, <laughs> and then after like 15, it's like really fucked up that well, they have that many geez, dogs. You guys, I'm, I, I get where you're going at with like, I think you just chucked eight as a, as a number, but like, yeah, no, but eight like dogs lifespans that you, you're still like, that's a full human's life. You know, exactly. Dog- that's what we're saying. It's at the top of the bell curve. It was like, that was their thing. It's normal, but you get too far and then you're like, why'd they have so many dogs? Oh my gosh. I've really been getting tempted. Not, I'm not seriously looking into it, but I've just been getting served so many bulldogs on my Discover page on Instagram. I just keep looking at it, and then Alex and I are sending them back and forth. Uh-oh. Just a, a big, you know, well, just I guess more of a brick, meaty little brick. How big? You know, just like the like like the kind that Rob Deer to cat on okay, Fast yeah, yeah. Factory. So I, an old English bulldog, just like be, beefy and just like, they don't do much, you know, just walk around snorting stuff. <laughs> they don't do much. I would say like, honestly, I would consider that a fun fact about you. Obviously you keep serving them, but you like them. And CJ's like always kind of like, had a little special they're like spot. Kind of He's like ugly, but like there's the just something it, cute yeah. about them. No, Isn't it funny know? how dogs match their owners, you know? Right. I yeah, was no, gonna I mean, say that before you said they were kind of ugly, and it just or came the out. And yeah. before yeah, before you said the underbite thing too. But you know, yeah, bulldog to me, a, a beefy bulldog embodies exactly what you I you could, are. Yeah, and what you sick right in your jeter. Yeah, yeah, like I it looks really cool. Sure. Yeah, you're gonna have to quit caring about it so much. But. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> and like, no offense to you, Ryan. And this isn't really your dog. Technically, you're the, <laughs> oh, shit. You're the I already know what's going on. You're a stepdad. But like, and I love Daisy. Yeah, Keep but in I, mind. Daisy Alondra's dog, Daisy. You know, it probably does. But it is kind of a girl dog. Like when I think of Daisy, it's kind of just a girly dog. But Daisy is the cutest, sweetest, awesome, Adorable. awesome dog. And if you ever need me to babysit her, and I will take her for sure. She made us a little bit of money today. Yeah, we even. She she's a star. Well, yeah, now uh, she actually joined oh, okay. a union. And now, yeah, we're paying her and she needed like a certain break time in between filming and all this i heard they were talking She's the lunchbox a, and trying to get yeah, caught up working oh, yeah. with a lot of other uh dogs that work in film and commercials waffles yep waffles our neighbor that we sometimes put on our snapchat story <laughs> what kind of dog would you get ben if you were gonna get one uh probably like a greta's got a bernie's mountain dog bridger it's a cute little bastard i love him. little he's like gigantic. a massive dog yeah. it's like massive. 200 pounds um, Huge. And it's probably like I don't know. Probably something like that. Really? Really? Yeah. I need to get a bigger house. Yeah. I was gonna say big dogs big dog. are like it's a rich person's dog. You got to have a lot of money if yeah. you have a big dog because it's they're just cool. very high maintenance. Too. Yeah, they are. What kind of dog would you get, Mike? I I feel like you would just get like this, like, and don't take this the wrong way. It would almost just be a stray that happened to be wandering around. You were out <laughs> dirt biking, and you're like, it's totally, accurate. and it just starts like hanging around. You're like. This is a good dog. And you just yeah. take it in and you name him Steve. You yeah. don't really know how old he is. <laughs> That's very You don't accurate. know, you know, where it came from, but it would end up being a fantastic dog. Like it's just like chilling, you know, just the easiest going dog. I could see that. Because I don't think I would go out of my way to get a dog, but obviously that's not really the point of the question. But that's exactly yeah, how that I could would see go. That. And I've said it. Um, and it would end up being the best dog is what I'm saying. Like it would be yeah. so well trained. It just, does seem like they're always grateful. Sometimes I, I really, like, especially in this conversation, I, I hate that I'm a cat guy. Doesn't mean I don't like dogs. I love dogs. But I want, like, basically the lunchbox scenario, I'm just like, I you want You were allergic to, find, to lunchbox, though. Uh, you, you were. You know what's super weird? I was, like, allergic to Bella, who was Ryan's dad's cat that we had here for a while. And I was allergic to lunchbox. And now Sydney has a cat who I, you know... I just don't like hair. him that much. But no, yeah. love him. Love him. <laughs> hair everywhere doesn't bother me anymore. Really? 
did I get you, over it? You worked yourself. Yeah, you just. That's what I mean. It used to be like to yourself. Oh man, I don't know if that's possible. Uh, uh, allergy medicine. Every time I come over, now never. And maybe if I like, you know, Dude. take them and stuff them oh in my, my face, gosh. I'll sneeze about. It's super. I don't know. Dude, like, I forgot about Bella. I forgot that we had Bella, Bella yeah. living at uh, the shop for like six months. She and got I loved hit by it. a car. So yeah. so yeah. there is so right. Ryan's dad had this cat that was kind of just like a shop cat. And when we moved into our shop, she stayed with us here. Well, she lived at the house with us and then we moved to the shop and Randy where was he living? He moved here. back into we the new house, but he house. didn't want to have the cat yeah. there. Yeah, he yeah. wanted to wait till it was to have his Bella shed. Sh- white hair shed it like crazy. Anyways, cat. I just hope for like a stray to fall upon us again. I would never go out of my way. Like, uh, no, ain't nobody, well, ain't none of us know if need we could more. Keep another stray here. What about the well, time that- I could? <sighs> but we should not- clear this up Mike- though for a second. Lunchbox, uh, we ended up putting him back with his family out in the wild. He had a bunch of wild cats and a family, and they stayed yeah. at this resort just down the way. People and feeding them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's cat. yeah. So, anyways, he he's still out there running around. See, I don't think that we could get a shop dog or probably even a shop cat because who's going to, like, take care of it? The taking care of it is honestly hardly a problem. You just got to yeah. give food and water. But, dude, Bella ruined so much stuff. Mm-hmm. She ruined seats in the boat. She ruined scratches on the top of the car. I guarantee, Mike, bless your soul, you take in a stray, and it cli- Ben finds it on top of his car one day or worse, CJ. Oof, oh, not going to be true. good. You think I'd freak out worse than Ben? No, no but your car's black. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, like, no, it's that's, not going to be That's a really good, good point. Just, there's too much stuff going on. And I here. can't even, like, you know what's funny is, like, I can't even we'll get be upset him. about you guys having your cars in here. Well, it's my, pretty funny. I left my Subaru. I mean, this is, like, on a tangent. I left my Subaru in here all winter, and I loved it. We all kind of loved it. It looked cool in there. But I was like, bro, no one really cared if they, like, when the Lambo and the GTR are in here. Everyone's a little nerve wracked for it, but I don't think anyone. I don't think so. I well, mean, maybe not you two. I mean, at and this point, everyone that is here, other than you two. Like, what do you mean? You're just like we're playing darts and we're back right up. Oh the no, it's only yeah, it's only typical things. It's like uh, just walking between them. You know, I I, I make so many saying. trips between them a day, and this isn't me being like you guys need to get them out of here. I make so many trips between them a day, yeah. like carrying a bag or something. I and get I what you're saying. I haven't touched them, yeah. but could happen. No, so, but then that brings up that point. It's like, yeah, if I brought a cat in here and it walked on Ben's Lamborghini, that wouldn't work. Yeah, that, I mean, it, if yeah. it was mine, I wouldn't. I would feel the same way. Yeah, yeah, and then you constantly got to worry about it. Like I'm right now, like, oh, where's my dog at? Oh, I got to feed him. Well, whatever, actually, you know? uh, Ryan's dad once had a really good point. He was like, a dog is actually sometimes harder than a baby because you can take a baby into a restaurant, into the mall, into wherever you're going. You could take a baby. Could sit in, on this podcast right now. Maybe yeah, essentially, talk you teach him. You yeah, know. you could yeah, essentially take it to work. work. But a dog, you can't take into a restaurant. You can't take in on vacation. I don't so know. So you're leaning more towards the baby side now? Or? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I could see? I could see... Ken getting a dog <gasps> that is just a stage five chiller, yeah. and he just sits in the merch bay with him. <laughs> Ken is that would dope. actually be a great yeah. dog dad. Ken goes to the merch bay, sits with there with him. Ken gets up, walks to the bathroom, goes with him, sits outside the bathroom. Ken's Ken comes dog. out the bathroom, goes back to the merch bay. Bro, with him. Ken's dog's name would be like Andre or something. What would you name your dog? Ken? Andre the Poodle. It'd be so elegant. I don't even know. I've never even thought about that. Bailey. <laughs> That's Ken's mom's dog's name. Yeah, that's why it'd be funny if your dog's a liberal. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, so I think I shouldn't say that's what everyone wants, but like, do you not want your dog to be a stage five chiller? I mean, I'm yeah, 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 that's best case scenario. I would say so too, and and sometimes since it's not, I would say one of my bigger fears with a pet, mostly a cat or a dog, is them having separation anxiety. I don't want that. Well, I've, I've also heard this: when you leave a dog, it could be for five minutes. Five hours, five days. They don't know, you know, when they like say do goodbye. Feel bad about they that, don't yeah. know how long well, you're leaving. Cats. You know oh. what I mean? They don't. Yeah. You'd be like goodbye, kind of the same vibe. You know, I'm gonna miss you. Whether it's for five hours or fi- five days, and they have no idea. Obviously, it's a dog. It's they five can't even days. Watch like TV or yeah. like go on their phone. But I just, well, I guess you could maybe buy your dog a phone. I, Ken probably get his dog a phone. I think when if your pet. No, <laughs> gets Super. separation anxiety. It it again is like added stress to you instead of 
comfort when you do get to see it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Um, I, th- I think with that is if you have like uh, luggage or suitcases too, like they're just trained, like they see the suitcases. Oh, and yeah. And I unpacked and like, my suitcase and Daisy saw me walk in with it and immediately like came over and was like pawing at me because she thought I was leaving again. Mm. Oh, sad. that's interesting. Dad, dog dad. Really? She was actually cold, sad cold that you were <laughs> leaving? Yeah, of course, wow. dude. Breaks my cold, cold heart. For a heart, second, man. I yeah. thought I thought Ben was getting at like I just don't want a dog that has like baggage, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want them to have a bunch of like shit going on in their past life. I need a clean slate. <laughs> That's not even what I, said. <laughs> I just didn't. Yeah, for a second, I was like, I, they got baggage. Ben doesn't want to deal with that shit. As, as nice as it is to adopt shelter dogs. No, I don't want that. I don't want the baggage. <laughs> All that past. Well, I can't believe that uh, we're sitting here talking about, I, I've really enjoyed this, talking about pets for the past 20 minutes. Maybe we're extremely immature. Well, like not only obviously immature in the way that we are very publicly immature, but maybe we're also <laughs> immature as far as like where we're at in life. We're Emotionally? Like, we're think, like yeah, dogs? Yeah. No way. We can't take care of them. Babies, of course not. <laughs> I think it's just where we're at in our life. No, I'm maybe just, yeah, just, I'm just laughing that we're yeah. like talking about that. Maybe we're maybe we're in touch because I think a lot of people have kids that shouldn't have kids, and a lot of people have dogs that shouldn't have dogs. A lot of people that shouldn't have kids that keep having kids. Most people that have like the most kids can't even seem to support one. What's your guys' take on Dana White's slap league? <sighs> Dude, it's gnarly. Like just standing up there and basically, if you go first, you're like in. You have the upper hand, literally. For sure. <laughs> but, uh, you know, UFC is one thing because it's got, like, the whole... It's combat. Mix, mix you, can martial martial arts. Arts. you can you defend, defend yourself. You can defend yourself. Um, you know, if you're a good wrestler, then you have some kind of a, a better advantage than if you're a good boxer or vice versa in some way. You know, you can defend yourself in some way. But that one is just, like... It's just no defense. Yeah, it's just I just like whoever's well, the I heard almost. You, I heard you like moan about that because I can't even watch it, dude. That's I, tough for you, man. It constantly is popping up on my Instagram mm-hmm. just because of the people I follow will be resharing or whatever. And to be clear, like if you want to go out and do that, go and do it. But it's very 100%. tough for me to watch someone get just just willingly take brain, brain damage. Yeah. And like you listen to these guys talk in the interviews and you watch them, they are significantly worse than like boxers and ufc fighters even the way they talk they're like slurring they're all fucked up and like obviously there's technique that goes into it and maybe i'm completely wrong and this is slightly ignorant to say but i think it takes more balls than talent to do that i would agree and also a a very good chin because realistically that that is some people are just genetically or they just have a a i don't know what you know they can take hits like that but eventually that's gonna wear just like every other boxer or fighter you've ever seen in in the history of ever i haven't looked into it too much but is there ways that you can like that there are people those people are training other than slapping harder <sighs> i don't know and Probably also strengthening who, your neck and who gets yeah. to slap first how do they pick that i think it's it's uh, uh just uh, uh, it's like coin, coin, coin toss, toss yeah. yeah and what happens if you don't knock the person out like you slap and they turn then, around and hit them and then do you get to hit them back how many times you go back and forth tell someone one gets and knocked, knocked, knocked out. Out. <laughs> so it could if you go first and you knock them out on the first one then you're good then you win yeah. i believe yeah, yeah but then you go next round and eventually you're not going to get to go first so yeah, that's exactly. when it comes down to just being able to take a slap dude you know like you ever shook a guy's hand and it just feels massive like it like he's a a man of the land, probably. Just got a strong hand. You imagine shaking that guy's hand? Bet you it's like Andre the Giant, dude. Yeah. I th- it seems like the bigger you are, the more advantage you have at it. But then again, some of those guys up it's there like, aren't, aren't they that have big, their and they're technique. still taking it. No, there's definitely a uh, technique to the way they're like hitting it. Obviously, their swing, they have a lot of force, and I'm sure you are perfecting that. Dude, there's no way I could stand that. But you can't flinch. flinch. If you flinch and then you get hit, you, the, you're just like, flinch, and then you have to take it again. Really? Oh, I actually haven't really oh. seen that before. You can't flinch. Because technically, you know, you look at yeah. fighting in general. You're covering. Like, boxers train, so if someone's throwing a hook at this side of your head, you go. you go with it to lessen the blow. You know what I'm saying? Of course. So, like, you're, that's why they're, like, kind of moving, which I know very little. But, like, so obviously if someone's going to hit you, you almost want to – Take the slap and move with it to lessen the blow, but you can't do that. And if they detect that, you gotta Dang. do it again. <laughs> that is it makes it worse. And maybe I don't know a whole lot saying this that other people do, but I remember seeing Mike Tyson, uh, and he 
trained his neck yeah. to be the biggest neck you for do, his. Like, these like bridge rolls. Yeah, type of things. and so I was watching. What That's he'd super do. bad for your neck, but yeah, you strengthen okay. it. And it's good to know because get... I'm watching him do it, and he's like basically uh, feet on the ground and then head on the ground. It looks like he's about to break his yeah. fucking. Oh my neck. gosh, yeah. dude! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, pull up the old Maybe, clip. Yeah, you should pull that. You'd up. easily be able to find it. Um, but it's just I like, was really blown away. It, he he did neck exercises, neck bridges, and then you look at Mike Tyson. You're like, well, his neck is massive. Like he actually had the biggest neck in his weight class. Yeah, so, the pictures of Mike Tyson when he was in his prime, yeah. like shocked. So anyway, yeah. I didn't know that he did neck specific. I didn't know that he did neck specific exercises, and I was just like blown away. Yeah, like that. Look at that yep. shit. What oh, in does the that world? Not, does that not look like it would one hurt? Look at yeah. Oh man, he got that. What, he looks like CJ's I future didn't... bulldog, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that oh, was a thing. Imagine going to fight That's this guy. So He's bad. Doing that That's shit. so bad. I didn't for know neck. that was a thing. They don't do that anymore. Okay. I don't think. Oh. But uh, they have this thing called the Iron Neck. I've seen oh that. Yeah, gosh. it's for training your neck. When I was in hockey, my dad used to always tell me to, I don't know how he wanted me to necessarily do it, but he wanted me to strengthen my neck in case I'd get hit from behind because mm-hmm. it would help uh, basically protect you rather than potentially break it or yeah, whatever. Wow. Ken, I got something else for you to pull up. Hey, how how Is much money do these guys get paid? Like, if <sighs> I don't think the slap league that. guys are making that much money. That's the thing. <laughs> Just not. like the UFC fighters that are, you know, below, like which they is pretty public. Like they're asking for more money, but uh, I would imagine the slap league guys are getting paid very, very little. From what I've heard Dana White White talk about is just like the the numbers behind it though for like social media impressions. Oh, because it is extremely shareable. Yeah. Oh and God, and yeah. anyone can watch that. Like anyone. Whether you're into fast. combat sports or not. And right. you can be pretty entertained by like, whoa, what is going like on? The like the primalness of right it. Now? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I, I'd imagine like if he's doing it or getting behind it, there's got to be some reason. But but people said the same. For the record, I'm not saying it's not going to be successful. I'm just saying I can't watch it. Yeah. yeah, no. I Oh, and I and for the record, I'm saying the athletes maybe not getting paid, but Dana White is. Yeah, somebody's getting paid. Somebody, yeah. It's on like TBS. <laughs> like, like, like dead ass serious. It's on TBS. Sorry, Never I thought mind. you were thinking TLC cuz TLC too, is though. savage. Oh, like totally my, my 300 pound life. Yeah, they just exploit people. I'm not 300 pound. <laughs> you know, is it, my 600 pound life. You know, how, how, big are those? Hey, how big are those? You guys uh, have a being the editors of this channel, you guys have a pretty good library of funny songs. Well, sure. when when the 600 pound person does anything, they put a funny song. To yeah, it. dude, <laughs> they do. And they don't feel bad that. about it for a little bit at all. Yeah, you can really do someone dirty with the edit. Is That's that what it sure. is? 600 pounds. I well, think, no, I it's, there's I think like there's a couple. There's, there's like the, the show. show. There's so many, dude. There's like a thousand pound sisters. You know, like yeah, well, two of them. There's two, and they're like one six hundred, and one's like four fifty. Bro, holy crap, dude! My th- thousand pound sisters, they are some big women. Both of them together oh. weigh over and a thousand still pounds. Alive? Yep. I mean, that's holy quite a bit. So it's reasonable now. She's not. She can walk. No, around. that's the other sister. I think one of the sisters is trying to slim up. Yeah, obviously the other one on the left slimmed up. Wait, th- so both of them were a thousand pounds. Wait, good yeah, for her. No, that she's neither getting... neither of them were a thousand pounds alone, but it's oh, it, okay, dude. That's... Some of these people are at such a disadvantage though because of just their genetics. So like, I would imagine if you're a thousand pounds, you like are at the furthest end of uh of a disadvantage. Yeah. Obviously, you still dis- you sh- probably should try to do something to make your life a little easier, but dude, yeah, that's and crazy. Think, you could literally not do anything. No, I don't think they'd do anything. They wouldn't be able to even sit in this chair. Like this chair would break. I don't even know if they'd be able to sit on the couch. The couch probably wouldn't be able to hold them. Yeah, man. I think it gets to a point. How do you though, bathe? That's where I guess I at the end of the day, do. I hope that shows like this, and I don't know if they are cause I don't watch them, but I hope they're helping them. It, I you think know, they're just making it worse. That's man. what I'm. I don't know if they're making. I don't think they're making. Well, it worse. I guess they are giving them money. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're they're. I'm sure in the show they have like a trainer that's like. Are the, you they think they're trying to slim them trained. down? I don't think so at all. They're like keep doing what you're I'm doing. I'm pretty this sure that's the whole television. premise of all of these shows. Is, I don't think so. They show? It's just to exploit them. I don't think. I don't think I it's think completely. Maybe. I I maybe we're gonna have to watch it. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. If, uh, I, I mean, I could be wrong, but I have a very hard time believing that they're out there getting. These women that they're making their money off of for for being big, 
they're getting them trained. Maybe, who, maybe. Who were we but with that? That's the whole they, goal. I don't know if they were on the film set of that, of a show like that, or if they were like related to somebody, but they were talking about like how hard it is for everything they do. Like they need someone to help them like poop and pee. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. You know what it was? It was sex. Oh my God. Now I remember. I can't say, <laughs> dude, there was these super heavy people like, I don't know if it was that extreme, but in order for them to have a child, like the family members helped and like lifted up the role so they could, dude, I'm dead ass serious. For the show? No, not for the show. This is just in real life. Just someone I heard, somebody that is like a medical. Maybe we'll. Wow. I don't know who it was, but he was, yeah, some fucked up shit. And we don't need to. Think about that. Because they want to have no. a kid. Quick, someone talk about something else. I can't get that image well, out of my head. I, I, I <laughs> can't get the family members lifted well, him up and helped it happen. You want me to show yeah. the video? Yeah, CJ. Yeah, they no. understood the first time you said it, CJ. <laughs> yeah. No, when you said family members helped, we knew yeah. all we needed to know. <laughs> um, <laughs> that dude must be working I, yeah. with a hammer I, to yeah. work through that fat. Because, I mean, you got to realize, like, you're going to be working with a nub. By uh, the time you it, have a pelvis hanging out like that, <laughs> think about it. I mean, yeah, shit. Man. Mike, you want that I, video yeah. from I naturally have a, gifted? I, and then just I'm changing the this. subject. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> uh, just something real exciting. So I went to high school at a place called Holly High School. It wasn't anything to write home about. I enjoyed it. But Peak they finally did something cool. Really? Well, they painted a mirror of you. This, in my eyes, they did something cool. <laughs> no, they. Uh, you guys remember the, the dirt bike through the school prank? Yeah. Dude. It's been done a handful of times, but do you remember just the one? Yeah. You know, the yeah. one. The legendary yeah, it, it, one. Yeah. The, like pink cause, classics. Cause, yeah. 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 So I looked that one up, of course, had to rewatch it after I saw this. And I was like, oh, yeah, this is just, this is the only one I remember. And then, of course, I'm looking on YouTube. There's like 20 other ones. So it's been done many other times, but I just got sent a, a nice video from my high school. And they did that as their senior prank. And they're they're facing all the charges you'd think they'd face. Well, yeah, what kind of charges? They rode a scooter. Well, no. <laughs> it ain't I, a hey, dirt hey, bike. hey, I gave the buddy on the scooter oh! some credit. So we got a two stroke, and he's revving it. Oh, he did it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's no like those. Way. You know, that's where I went to high school, and I was so proud. The two stroke homie, I was so proud. They Holy you, frick! Mike. How'd they not get stopped, dude? I don't know. Well, man, we could have gotten a steady cam on this guy. Yeah. (laughs) Somebody could have been on a one wheel following him or something. But, uh, yeah, the scooter was, you know, the scooter was that. But, yo, there's a GoPro footage of of the actual rider, and and he comes out of the school. (laughs) Wait, are you talking about this guy? Yeah, this guy. And he comes out of the school. And he's he like grabs second and he almost hits a car. <gasps> Holy shit. But Big then man. I guess they, they loaded up and they got caught in the parking lot. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, what yeah. happened? I think they got pretty jammed up. Like basically, you know, like they didn't in a do situ- anything that bad. That's what's interesting. In a situation like this, the adults, you know, the principal, the the vice principal, whoever else is in charge, they're like, We have to do something. Right, because they could have hurt have someone. Have to that's discipline. The thing. Yeah. I mean, and yeah, so, you can't just ride a dirt bike through the school. I agree. <laughs> so, he wasn't doing hey, wheelies or really for the record, being that reckless. For the record, I agree. So they, they got ISS, which is in-school oh, suspension. Okay. I've tagged that a couple times. <laughs> not not crazy. No, you just sit in Oh, the, they didn't get the cops involved? That's good then. That's yeah. what I... I'd so, say that's a fair deal. So they deal. threatened to, but then of I was course. like, that's... Yeah, they threatened to. They're like, wow, we got to get the cops involved. And then it, it kind of pushed away from that, like it should. Yeah. And they got in trouble. You know, okay. they got and, ISS, and he they couldn't got, walk. He couldn't walk. That's right. At graduation. Oh. And then anyone else involved, Stuff like, that. like holding yeah. the doors, Damn. couldn't walk. I think that's yeah. kind of messed up because that doesn't punish the kid. It it's only parents. punished the parents. The parents are the only person that cares about the kid walking. I never gave a shit. Yeah. But my parents wanted yeah. to see me walk, so yeah, that's, that's a, good point. a little messed up because I know that's a standard punishment. But what do you do? So that was for the senior prank. I mean, really, that's why. Yeah, I get, Yeah, that's okay. what they called it. We drove a golf it's cart. It's not that good of a mine. prank. It's not really a prank. That's just well, like doing a stunt to me. Either way, proud of them. Okay, but yeah, cool. it it is funny calling it like that's our senior prank. Yeah, like, I'm sure it wasn't the senior, class yeah. collective prank, yeah, but it was right. like part of their little like thing. a prank would be like Saran wrapping the whole entire school or the front door so you can't get you know or something like that. Yeah, I well, think for my senior prank, 
Ours was so lame. Principal's car got saran wrapped and somebody pooped underneath it. Oh, oh no! Oh, shit. Funny. My friend, you guys, you know, think, you, know. you think. <laughs> so yeah. they got away oh, with it. He's so fucked, dude. Saran wrapping the car is actually right. kind of fucked up. Yeah, someone did it. You to, can pull some paint off with that. It gets hot and stuff, and then it. I mean, you wrap some poop in there too. That's not good. <laughs> when we were a senior, every all the seniors would stay at the school on the last night. I don't know if that was a tradition yeah, that you're a little bit, yeah. I guess like, like the, sleep there? Yeah, yeah like, like sleep in tents that or in your like car. That sounds like your bad idea for the that the staff's asking for right there. Let them Man. sleep in the school. We are getting Oh, old. whoa, outside the school. Oh, yeah, outside. outside, outside. Okay, that's not so outside. Crazy. Well, you know, it's like but, Black Friday. They don't let you in until. But right. every single year, somebody would crawl up on the roof and get in trouble or do something or and then that's when you would do like the senior prank it was like that time yeah and i remember everyone <laughs> went to bed and we we're like so what are we doing for the senior prank and uh, i think we like maybe did a couple different things but like nothing too big and then the next morning <laughs> we were, like words started to spread did you hear somebody pooped under like or in the i think it was in the principal's parking spot and everyone was like, who was it? Who was it? But we had this one friend that would poop on demand anywhere. So you He's knew. looking pretty guilty. <laughs> yeah. He's pretty red handed. I don't think guilty. he ever admitted it, but he would just smile. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> smart say, of him. So we all know it was him, but I don't think he ever admitted it, which is so funny. But uh, yeah, I, I love want, that. I want to say that's what I we just did. love that. I wish that I could he, poop on demand. I love that he stepped it up from. Um, so what? What is our senior prank? You're all sitting there like camping he took out. Took into his own hands. Saran wrapped the principal's car. Everyone's like, okay, it's it's like us coming up with ideas. All right, we, yeah, we got that, but like we got to step it up and then finish this thing. Yeah, and that's what he's doing with his poop. He's <laughs> like, yeah, we got to finish this thing. <laughs> Just on. I think he even lone soldiered it. Really, wow. that's ballsy, man. That's smart, <laughs> though. If you want nothing to get out, you got to do do it by yourself. Kind of unless you got some trusting friends. I think the year before, all the seniors brought their dogs or animals or pets to school. Seems they, like a health risk. Yeah, probably. <laughs> man, I'm getting old. I like, like the idea of uh, when you get like chickens or goats or whatever, and you number them like one, two, three, or you just do one. Uh, three four and then then you know like I they catch that. the goats and you're like that's where's great. two and they're still looking for it or whatever like classic. that's a classic that's a good one obviously that's been done tons of times but that's just like a pretty as long as the animals aren't getting you know hurt or whatever but that's a good one what'd you do did you guys have i any? don't think we did one i i can't remember i legit can't remember i remember i think we put we put the golf cart inside or squirreled like a, like a groundskeeper golf cart did a bunch of other lame stuff no, like, craning the principal's car on the roof and stuff like that, you know? How the fuck would you even manage to do that? Like, you know, realistically, like, they don't leave their car there overnight. It's true. <laughs> yeah, they're just asking for it then. Yeah, I would yes. say walking away from maybe this whole podcast, but comment down below. I, I'd be so I curious love to what, hear like, people's senior pranks. what your senior prank was, regardless of what it is, and what it was, if it was the most savage one that you think has ever been done. I saw that there was a school in Texas that had to call off graduation because 16 of their 30 students didn't graduate. <laughs> just well, Why didn't they just wait. let the 14 run it? What, I don't know. They must have been like, <laughs> it's not worth it. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Well, like, 16 more people makes it worth it? I don't know. I'm a little dude. worried because, like, is it just because they just didn't graduate or was it because of a prank? No, I think it was because of, like, grades and, and attendance or something. They were just wow. embarrassed. They were like, we're wow. going to slough this class off. But I was like, what a terrible stat to get out on the internet kind of for your you town. Work. The fact that it got reported on was kind of sad. It's a 50-50 shot if your kids can graduate from our school. Well, shit, my kid graduated. I'd be pretty happy. I'd be like, good job. Beat the odds. Yeah, you beat the odds. Ken, to wrap up, can we, can we play that video that I sent you? All right, this is bringing back an old segment oh. called Idiots on the Internet or something I like that. I can't remember what video. I called it. I don't know who these backyard Broncos uh. guys are. I think they're Canadian, but God damn, are they hilarious. The group of them, their group dynamic is insane. And the premise behind this is they're selling a car to this guy, and he came to buy it. Yeah, okay, okay. You're have some trouble with that, eh? There you go. Oh, hey, hey, what are you doing? Hey, what, what, what are you doing? Sorry about that. It's already running, buddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, listen to that. 
You good? Dude, I am dude, I am so sorry. Wait, who's the prank on? <laughs> no prank it's not at all. Prank. With yeah. that guy. <laughs> I think Wait, that was real. I think yeah. they were trying to sell the car. Like, okay, we did our we had our fun with this car. We gotta get rid of it. And apparently when you're trying to sell a car that you made into a convertible probably for like five hundred bones, <laughs> that's the type of guy that shows up. There's no way that was real. That's what I thought. I call bullshit, real. dude. But there's no real. way. Because it was already a shitty car. That's why they did it's it. It's tough. You know, there's a problem when homie doesn't even bat an eye about the chopped off roof. Roof, yeah. Yeah. But like, bro, that is what we would call a hermit. Like, he lives under a rock. I don't know if if it stays. I, don't know. I think you whatever, guys live but... under a rock for believing that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like no, the well, I'm here for turning... good entertainment. No, 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 hey, hey, hey. no, no, no. Hey, hey. Ken, play hey. it. Play I'm it. not saying it's bad entertainment. I'm just saying. That wasn't do real. you guys actually believe that? Here's why. Here's, here's this is just a really dumbass funny take as to why I believe it. Play it again, Ken. It's when he turns the key double of times. Like, oh, hey, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Oh, it's because he doesn't even know how to start a car. It was just like he knew the car was running. It was just like a skit. So well, here, anyway. here's why I believe it's real, because of his hair. <laughs> Dude, the guy. I know, the hair did kind of confuse me. I know. Look at his hair. He's got the best bad head going on right now. Uh, you know. Uh, it's fake. I mean, okay, fine. It can be fake and less fun. But goddamn, oh, no. that guy really acted like a good weirdo. Yeah, yeah. Like they, he did I, great. I, if, if there's anything we can take away from this, like he kind of acted like they got going there. It's just a Civic. They chopped the roof off. Oh. Oh. And, and for them, they do a lot of these. And if this one isn't real, which I agree, maybe it's not. But they get a ton of like iffy, funny interactions with people when they're trying to kick guys in the nuts for cars and stuff like yeah. that. And but you know this one way, definitely worked. It's got like a ton of views. And you know the way they like don't film his face, like if like. Well, I don't know. It's just not as fun to be like, it's fake. No, no, sure. no. I, it's funny. It's funny. But like, it, it just. I got to go. I got a meeting with a uh, YouTube manager. Grapes. Shit. Well, on that note. All right. <laughs> on that note, life <laughs> is fake. <laughs> I just. I-